Salvete omnes. Haec est, acroasis quadrigesima prima, de passivo genere, tempore imperfecto, pagina centesima quadrigesima septima, e capite duodecimo. Today's lecture, number 41, is on the passive voice in the imperfect tense. You can find this information in your book <clears throat> on page 147, chapter 18. Let us begin. Recognitio. You already know the personal endings for the present system of the passive voice. Ar, ris, tur, mur, mini, ntur. Today, we're going to expand that knowledge. We're going to work on the imperfect tense, and there's a formula, as you've been accustomed to seeing. High guest formula. We take the present stem, and then we add the imperfect temporal morpheme, or simply ba, plus the personal ending. And so for this example, we're going to use the verb video, videre, vidi, visum, and we know our present stem is vide, so we'll have vide plus ba plus the personal ending. So I'm going to do the conjugation up on the screen, and I'll ask you to write this down. You might have a better time of this watching me do it, and then pausing the video to write it down. So let's begin. Prima persona, seconda persona, terza persona. Videbar. Videbaris. Videbatur. Videbamur. Videbamini. Videbantur. You've heard me say it. Now, say it with me. Videbar. Videbaris. Videbatur. Videbamur. Videbamini. Videbantur. Pause the video, write all of this down in your notes, and then we can move on. Now, we're going to put this in context for the purpose of translation. You will first see a letter which is risen, written in the present tense. It's written in the present tense because the writer is going to talk about circumstances that he sees around him. So the writer here is going to be Lucius. Lucius is writing an email to his friend Decimus. And so we'll see what he has to say. So let's go ahead and look at this letter. This letter from a friend. Litrae ab amico. Lucius Decimo salutum plurimum dicit. Lucius wishes much health to Decimus. Horiae mi decime, contra hostes bellum paratur. Today, dear Decimus, war is being prepared against the enemy. Non delector ego at multus alius bellum uat. I am not pleased, but war pleases many others. Seek isti mihi videntur. So these men seem to me. Cura ut valeas. Do take care. Roma scripsit pridia calendus maias. Written at Rome on the 30th of April. All right. Now, Pridia Calendus Maias is the 30th of April, that is the day just before the calends of May. And at the time that this video is made, we're already past that. So all of those circumstances that Lucius is describing in his letter belong to the past. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to write back Lucius. Now here's the thing. We're not terribly creative with our letters, but we want to indicate to Lucius that we did at least read his letter. And so for this reason, we are going to, uh, we're going to remind him of the circumstances that he told us about. So, ubi tu mi luci scribebas. So when you, uh, my good friend Lucius, were writing, bellum paratur. Now notice that war is being prepared. That was the case when Lucius was writing the letter. So that was an ongoing action in the past. So we want to say war was being prepared. At this time, pause the video, write down this example, and I want you to change this phrase 
to the imperfect because we're talking about the situation at the time when the letter was written. So I want you to change bellum peratur, uh, war is being prepared, into war was being prepared. Okay? You should have written bellum parabatur, war was being prepared. All right. Let's look at a neg the, uh, the next instance from his letter. Ego non delector. I am not being pleased. I am not being pleased. Now, we're talking to Lucius, so we're not going to use a form of ego. So if I'm talking to him, I'll use a form of you, you, or here, tu, Latine. What I want you to, to do is to say, you were not being pleased. All right? Go ahead, pause the video, write down what you think that should be in Latin, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your work. You should have written, Non delectabaris. You were not being pleased. Notice that we have not only changed the tense, delectabaris, but we've also changed the person. So since, since Lucius said, I was not, since I was not being pleased, notice the air quotes, uh, in response back to him, when we're talking about something he said, we would say, you, Lucius, were not being pleased. All right, so let's move to our last example. Seek mihi videntur. Thus they seem to me. All right, <clears throat> so we want to change this again. We want to say, thus they were seeming, but not to me because I wasn't there, but to you. Thus they were seeming to you. All right, and so I like once again for you to pause the video and to try to put that uh, into the imperfect tense for me. And when you're ready, and uh, resume the video and we'll check our work. Okay. You should have written, seek tibi we debantur. Thus, they were seeming to you. All right, at this time I'm going to put up on the screen the URL for the Google form, which is your homework. And I will see you in class tomorrow. Well, let's on this.